Surprisingly, Elon Musk has commenced the recruitment of the inaugural participants for Neuralink's clinical trial. The company's now secured FDA approval to substantiate the technology's safety and surmount the impediments posed by critical evaluations. These figures should certainly give us pause for thought. In the United States alone, an estimated 300,000 individuals grapple with spinal cord injuries, and the National Institute of Health reports a similar cohort of approximately 250,000 individuals afflicted with ALS. So, what distinguishes Neuralink as the preeminent method for consideration? Let's find out in today's episode of Tesla Car World. Welcome back to our channel. Before we begin, please show your support by subscribing if you haven't already and ringing the bell so you won't miss out on any of our interesting videos in the future. Now, let's get started with today's content. In the United States, there are approximately 18,000 new spinal cord injury cases each year, and the median age at injury has increased from 29 years back in the 70s to 43 years as of 2015, with approximately 79% of those new cases being men. Fortunately, Neuralink has received approval from the company's Independent Institutional Review Board and its first hospital site to begin recruitment for its first in-human clinical trial. This is a significant advancement for severe SCI cases. How will Neuralink be applied to the first patients? Currently, the company is looking for people who are quadriplegics due to spinal cord injuries or who suffer from ALS, with a condition of being over 22 years old and having a regular and reliable caregiver to participate in the study. Neuralink also sets regulations for ineligible cases such as individuals using pacemakers and deep brain simulators. Besides, people with a history of epilepsy are also not suitable for applying for this technology because it'll be different for them to cooperate during the process. And finally, individuals who need an MRI scan for an ongoing medical condition or transcranial magnetic stimulation treatment. In the first trial, the company will have at least 10 lucky patients who best fit Neuralink's criteria to be selected to participate in implanting this new technology. Patients will undergo the first six-year brain chip implant trial called the PRIME study to test technology to assist people with disabilities and treat neurological symptoms. The first patients will receive the exclusive N1 implant chip with an extremely small diameter of 23 by 8 millimeters. The truth is that this coin-sized implant uses 1,024 electrodes distributed over 64 fibers, each thinner than a human hair. These selected patients will not only experience Neuralink's innovative chipset, they'll also undergo the full protocol of the PRIME study to test three state-of-the-art techniques of this technology. They'll simultaneously experience the N1 chip, the R1 robot, and the N1 user app. More specifically, the process takes place by cutting a small part of the patient's skull the same size as the N1 chip. This step will be performed by a specialist doctor. Next, the computer will be responsible for connecting with robot R1 to determine the location of electrode fibers, and this robot will implant those fibers into the designated place with a depth of a few millimeters. Finally, the N1 chip will be placed on the surface of the skull near the scalp and sutured. It'll transmit and record brain signals wirelessly via a Bluetooth system connected to the N1 user app, which will analyze and convert the brain signals to a computer. The computer will encode these commands into a state that controls the cursor on the keyboard by thinking. Compared to other BCI technologies, Neuralink's equipment and machinery are closely linked together to create a perfect and absolutely safe process. The six-year endeavor is meticulously structured in the multiple phases for patients' ongoing care and assessment. Following the initial transplant, patients embark on an 18-month program comprising nine home visits and clinic appointments scheduled every two months. Additionally, they commit a minimum of two hours weekly to engage in brain-computer interface research sessions. Over the course of five years, they'll participate in an additional 20 meetings with researchers. This comprehensive approach serves the dual purpose of enabling medical professionals and experts to methodically assess and analyze the technology's process since implementation while ensuring patients' ongoing peace of mind through regular examinations. On the X platform, Elon also didn't forget to suggest a development for the future of humans when combining Neuralink with the Optimus robot. He used the example of Luke Skywalker's hand working effectively with a robot arm. We see that this potential is very suitable for people who are quadriplegic and need such legs or arms. 
they can move truly flexibly again if this combination is truly successful in the near future. Neurological disorders and even Parkinson's or Alzheimer's will be significantly reduced in the near future. This technology possesses a feature that makes it difficult for other BCI technologies to compete, which is patient safety. How safe is Neuralink with their latest update? Not to mention Neuralink's superior technologies, we can confirm patient safety through long and rigorous testing timelines. This time is for doctors to examine the condition of the disease as well as the growth rate of nerve cells. If Neuralink had to be a bit more invasive at the time of this announcement, it has recently been significantly narrowed in its impact on the brain. The previous electrode fibers will not be able to penetrate this duramater, which requires the R1 robot to remove this duramater. Fortunately, Neuralink's improved version won't destroy the safe duramater protecting the brain, but will penetrate through small fibers on the chip. These fibers don't increase in size, but have better implantability. While other BCI methods rely heavily on a team of specialized surgeons throughout the process, Neuralink mainly uses the R1 robot to implant with an accuracy rate of up to 90%. Therefore, this technology won't depend too much on doctors and has less potential risk for patients. The fibers will be connected to the chip by a computer to determine the targets or implantation locations with precision that won't cause the brain's blood vessels to break during the invasion process. Another important factor is that Neuralink's chipset is more advanced than other invasive methods because the invasiveness is small and causes less serious injury to the brain. Other invasive methods would normally cause infection and be eliminated within 30 days. But Neuralink will hardly encounter rejection and remain in the human brain for decades. The success of monkeys has proven the safety of this technology, which allows monkeys to control and play games through a brain-computer connection. This further proves the effectiveness of Neuralink when implanted in the human brain. This technology can do much more than the brain of a monkey. Previously, Neuralink had difficulty obtaining FDA approval due to safety concerns related to the device's lithium battery. The ability of components to migrate to other parts of the brain and the potential for damage to brain tissue when removed, FDA certification, means Neuralink has addressed all safety concerns. Neuralink is undeniably a trailblazing technological marvel, poised to redefine the boundaries of human-machine integration. The meticulous selection process for the pioneering experiment adheres to stringent criteria and clear regulations underscoring the commitment to ensuring the utmost safety and efficacy for patients. The intricate surgical procedures, meticulously broken down into distinct phases, hold the promise of delivering maximum safety and effectiveness throughout the patient's journey. This methodical approach ensures that every step in the connection process is finely tuned to minimize risks and maximize positive outcomes. Over the course of the planned six-year duration, Physicians and specialists will have the unique opportunity to closely monitor and control the patient's progress. This extended time frame offers invaluable insights into the evolution of the patient's condition and the efficacy of the Neuralink technology in restoring their quality of life. As we look into the future, the convergence of Neuralink with the Optimus robot presents a compelling vision. The synergy between these two cutting-edge technologies opens the door to a future where individuals affected by paralysis can regain mobility and independence, marking a revolutionary leap in medical science. Neuralink's journey represents not just a technological advancement, but also a beacon of hope for those who have longed for a breakthrough in the realm of incurable diseases. So, how do you feel about Neuralink's latest update, and who do you think will be best suited for this technology? We want to hear your insights. We hope you had the most relaxing feelings after watching this video. And if you did, we ask that you please hit the like button and make sure to subscribe to our Tesla Car World channel. And don't miss out on any of our awesome videos by hitting the bell icon. We value your feedback and your time. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you soon. Until then, stay safe and have fun.